All right, the next part is finishing off all the crazy paving. So now I've just been placing them where they may be going. Some I'll be changing. And I've filled up where all my broken tiles were. So far, that's what I've done. I mean, laid, and not down. So now I've just started to place the travertine tiles around this side now. So I've got all this to do. And I've taken most of my travertine tiles out of the crates. Just so I sort of know what sizes I've got. Some are big, medium and small. But anyway, I'll keep placing them down until I get them to where I want. I've now glued all the travertine from the spa area, which you can see now. All the way down here. And I've also put my high lids and all plates in. So that's all been um, stuck down using the stone set adhesive. So all this has been glued. So now <coughs> I'm actually going to grout all this now, just so that part's all finished. So I'll go ahead and grout it. Okay, I thought I'd show you some progress that I've done, so in my spa area is now all glued and grouted. The covers are in. The cover all the way here. taken a lot of hours cutting each tile. So I just thought I'd let you know what I was up to. And I thought I'd show you taking the skimmer lid cover off. Looks like all finished. And back on. Okay, I've placed all the travertine tiles down there. But I haven't glued these. So they go all the way around the pool.
and also outside going in a bit of a square in between the tree and the ground but anyway all I'm going to do now is blow it and grout it up to here and the rest of that is already done Okay, also I'm going to rip up these tiles in front of the gate all the way to where I've tiled because that's also going to be crazy paving. So where you can see the line on the left or the cut, all them tiles are going to come up. Then I'll be laying tiles all the way down here. And all this area here will also be crazy paving all the way into here. And then this area from the cut all the way into here is going to be artificial grass all the way to here. So all this will be grass. Well, that's the plan anyway. Now that's all the paving I've got left over. I was hoping to have enough to do that bit there, but I don't think I have. But I've got to order more anyway. Okay, the next part I'm doing is lifting all these old tiles up, the terracotta tiles. So all these have to come up because I'm putting the crazy paving down as well. And I've started, as you can see, and terracotta tiles have already been lifted up here, up to the gate. So all that's going to be travertine. So all the way down here and all in here. So once I lift that up and get it cleaned up, and then I can lay the other tiles down. I've also um, just about finished the uh, tiles around the pool. As you can see, some are still wet spots because it's been raining. Up to here. Now these have been glued down, but because it's been raining, I've decided to go and lift me terracotta tiles up. So back to here, and then it's finished. So I'll get back to lifting the tiles up. Okay, some more progress. The whole swimming pool border is now completely finished, other than sealing the tiles. So this is what I just done the other day. It's all dry, and obviously lifted all the tiles. For more Trevor team to go down. And back up to here. With the entrance, which is more tiles again. So I'll probably do that one first. But yeah, so. So far, so good. And now that the tire, terracotta tiles are lifted, now I've just got to angle grind it down so it's back to 
concrete again. The same with the other end. So that's my next step. So I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. The moment has come. I'm now filling the pool up. As you can see, it'll take a while. You probably can't see much of the water yet. But anyway, we'll wait and see what she looks like. Okay, slowly filling up. Now I'm using the um, water from the water tank. And also, I'm using the hose. I've re-concreted my, uh, where my slab was broken apart, so now I'm the concrete in there, and then, uh, so I've just got to let that dry now, and then I can put my travertine tiles all the way down there. And also I've started laying out the travertine tiles from the entrance to the pool. They're not glued down, they're just sitting there. Okay, the pool is now full. I've just given it a, a dose of chlorine and obviously just cleaning as it goes. So that's the colour of the water, which should get clearer as the chlorine sets in. But anyway, just thought I'd show you what it's looking like when it's full of water. Creepy crawly doing its job. Okay, a couple of days after the chlorine's doing its thing, this is what she's looking like. Bench spa. So far, so good. OK, 
Okay, I thought I'd show you my pool lights. So I'm going to turn them on now. It's not real dark, but it's getting darker. And you can just see the lights come on now. So I have two lights. So that's the colour she looks like. And just a view of the lights turning off. So that's the difference between on and off.